Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Christmas Eve and I'm so excited to sit down with you guys and just go through all the makeup that I got for my birthday two days ago. So, I have a birthday video coming in the next couple of days as well just so you guys can see how I did my birthday glam. But I wanted to get this one out first. I'm so excited for today. It feels like it's like February, March outside. So, I'm kind of confused but it's fine. Totally fine. We're good. Okay, so I went to Sephora and I went to Ulta and I spent... I made a dent, to say the least. So, let's start with Sephora, I'm thinking. Like, I'm just feeling like a Sephora moment real quick. Okay, so I'm just going to pull everything out in the order that I would put it at my face. I feel like that's, like, the most logical thing to do here. I'm so excited for this one. Like, I literally want to ball my eyes out right now. Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. You guys, let me look at my wrist thing. Yep, $52. Um, you get a lot of product though, like this box was huge, and I was checking it out, like the sample in the store, and it's like, there's so much in there. Okay, this is cute, I'm just going to show you guys like everything about it. Oh my god. It comes with this little like, scoop thing. <gasps> I just realized I'm not wearing my rings, and I feel butt naked, so BRB. Look at my little puppy. Hi Carter, you say hi? He's literally a child, you guys, if anyone knows Carter right here. He's literally a human being baby, so. This is what it looks like. This is beautiful for $52. Like, I approve. Like, they did a good job. If you're going to charge that much, like, your shit's got to be cute. Like, to the fullest extent possible. Okay, so to start, I'm just going to take this little, like, scoopy thing. And I'm going to scoop out a bit. I don't want to ruin this. <laughs> it's fine. You got to do what you got to do. Okay, so we'll just start with this much. Like, I don't really know... I really should have moisturized before I did this because my skin is so dry. Okay, so this primer smells really nice. It kind of smells like like lemon-ish kind of, which I did not expect. I kind of thought it was going to smell like floral-ish. Okay, so I'm looking up close. Up close, it looks awesome. Like my pores um, look pretty non-existent so i'm happy with that next for foundation i got the nars um all day luminous weightless foundation i got it in the shade light five which is fiji i'm truly impressed so the thing i do notice for being such a lightweight foundation like you guys i cannot feel this on my face at all it's full coverage okay so next I went to Ulta and I picked up more shape tape you guys um have seen in the last couple of videos I posted on Instagram and on YouTube I've been using the Tarte Craceless Concealer which is supposed to be for dry skin and I do like it but I just realized how much I truly missed shape tape so I'm back um I did get a different shade this time I got the shade light and um, I usually got the shade Fair Neutral in Shape Tape. Okay, and I'm going to blend this out with the Y6. Um, I do like the sponge. I actually, you know what, let's go ahead and do Y6 on this side, sponge on that side. I'm going to put on Christmas music because it's totally silent in my room and I don't like it. And since it's Christmas, like why wouldn't I do Christmas music? <laughs> Okay, so the concealer's all blended out. I'm going to get a little closer to this mirror so I can see what looks better. Yeah, the sponge looks 1 million percent better. So there you have it, you guys. Next for powder, I got the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm really excited because I've never used this in my life. I always use the Too, Fa the Too Faced or the um, It Cosmetics one. So taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder um, in the lid, I'm just picking some up on the damp sponge. And I'm going to just press it all into my skin to set it everywhere. I love using a damp sponge to um, add powder to my face. One might think that it would look like gooey and gunky. And it will if you like drag your brush. But you're not doing that. You're just lightly going like this. You're lightly dabbing it. So it makes everything look super merged together. If you're going to use a brush um, to apply powder, that's okay totally cool I do it all the time but you just got to remember to add a lot of moisture back into your face because it's gonna dry it out if you're using the damp sponge it's gonna continuously add that moisture in there also just a heads up so far my face makeup has never ever looked better in my entire life so Merry Christmas to that okay 
Okay, so I did not pick up a new bronzer or a new um, blush because I live and breathe for this one. And I also have the Hula one that's like basically full. So I was like, mm, I'll wait. I really wanted to try the Marc Jacobs coconut one or whatever, like the holiday one. Looked amazing, but it was like a million dollars. So like I just I didn't get to it this time, okay? Then for blush, um, I'm just sticking to the Anastasia one. I picked this up at um, TJ Maxx like two months ago and I love it so much so there really wasn't a need for me to go ahead and spend a bunch of money on products that I already have and I use and I love every single day so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna add this real quick So now I'm going to go ahead and set my face. I always use the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Again, I didn't pick up a new one. I just realized I do have another setting spray. It is the NYX Dewy Finished one. And my mom got me this for my birthday because she knows I love just like dewy, dewy skin. I went a little overboard on the blush, by the way, but just like look away, okay? Okay, so while this dries, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. And I will be right back to complete this look and show you my favorite part. Okay, so I went ahead, I added my brows, and um, I cut them out using the shape tape. One little quick thing I do want to mention, uh, I was using these makeup wipes to clean off brushes, like, as I went, um, if I needed them, my mom got them for me, and they smell so good. I have never had a makeup wipe smell this good in my entire life. So next, for the part I've been so excited for... I picked up the Fenty Beauty like Diamond Bomb, the all over Diamond Veil, and I'm real, I'm nervous, you guys. Like this is so glittery, and I never get glittery glittery highlights. I was really between this and the Becca Moonlight one, and I was like, well, the Moonlight one I could wear all the time, but like I want to try this. Like, look how look how. So I'm just gonna take like a fluffy brush. It's super glittery. I've never gotten a glittery highlighter before, but I really like this. Like, let's put it, let's put it, like, right here. Oh, my God, you're joking. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. This is perfect. Like, I'm so pleasantly surprised. I was really apprehensive. I know Fenty Beauty is, like, absolutely amazing, but at the same time, I was like, okay, this is so glittery, glittery, because I swatched it on the back of my hand, and I was like, eh, but I can't just not get it. Like, I can't just walk away from this in the store. So, like, I'm happy with it, though. Everything works out. Everything. Okay, so for eyes today, I have two different e.l.f. palettes. This one is much larger, obviously. It says eyes, lips, and face. Um, I don't, I don't really understand how this would ever be used on lips. This is totally, like, eyeshadow, but that's fine. This is beautiful, and I actually dipped into this already. And the, the... Shimmery pigments are so creamy. Um, it like I literally balled my eyes out when I swatched it and realized how creamy they were. And then this one is the Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette, and the it's a Summer Breeze. I don't know if that like has anything to do with anything, but it sounds like it does. It looks like this, and it's just all matte. And it looks like this. This is also super pretty. Warm toned. I would use this all the time. My mom got me these, like I said, and love her to death. Okay, so I'm just going to create like a random look with this. It's actually like raining out, I think, which I feel like it should be snowing, but that's just, hey, that's just me. So right now, I'm just adding like a little bit of a deeper brown to my crease just to add it um, dimension. I'm not trying to like smoke it out or anything. Like I said, I don't want anything too smoky or crazy today. God, I love makeup. I love it. I don't know what I would do without it. And that's just the darn tootin' truth. Okay, and then for all over the lid, I'm just going to use like this gold shade, I think, or maybe this gold shade. I don't know, just something gold. Okay, so I went ahead and I winged out my liner. I used the NYX liquid liner, uh, the matte one. And next, I'm going to add lashes. Um, I already wore these before, so that's why they're, like, loose in here. Um, these are rewearable, obviously. All lashes are rewearable as long as you take care of them, clean the glue off, yada, yada. Everything's rewearable, so just be sanitary about it. 
I got these at Ulta. They are by Kiss and they are the Lash Couture Triple Push-Up Collection. These are so beautiful. They're so extra. Like, I can't really believe I'm wearing these on Christmas. Okay, so I went ahead and popped on those lashes. They are so dramatic. Like, I literally feel like a doll right now. And I'm kind of scared to wear this over to my boyfriend's house, but um, I'm still going to do it. I spent $15 on these lashes. Like, I'm going to wear them. I'm going to wear them. I'm going to pop this diamond bomb um, underneath my eyebrow and on my inner corner. I'm going to stay neutral today and just add some gloss just so it looks a little bit more toned down with these freaking lashes. But this is absolutely beautiful and I'm going to wear this on Christmas Day because this is like just stunning. I'm going to line my lips using Candy K by Kylie Cosmetics. Um, I love this shade. It's just a really nice like base for a lip liner. Okay, so I just lined those lips. Shit, they look big right now. Like, I'm kind of scared. For the final last touches, I got this Estee Lauder, um, like, package gift thing. So freaking beautiful. I saw this and I was like, $15? Like, that's ridiculous. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the mascara and the black gel liner for like my waterline. I just added some shadow under my lashes, my bottom lashes real quick. And now I'm going to add mascara. This makes your lashes look so ridiculously long. Okay, so this is before and this is after with the mascara. I don't know if you guys can tell, but like in person, it's ridiculous how long they make your lashes. Now I'm going to use the gel black liner for just the outer corner. Like I'm going to stop halfway under my eye. Just like that. Like literally just like a third of my eye. I'm going to hit my face with setting spray one last time. Just because I'm going to be doing stuff all day. And we just want to be good. Whew. Okay, I just feel like this is worth mentioning. Um, I got the new KKW. Like I don't even know like what this would be. Body, KEW body, I don't really know, but I got this. My Nana got this for me, my Nana and Bubba, and it smells so good, you guys. I'm obsessed. I feel kind of crazy just, like, having this in my room. Like, hi! Okay, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys really love just sitting down with me, hanging out, looking at all the new goodies I picked up. I love sharing it with you guys. You guys literally feel like my friends. When I'm speaking to you guys, I feel like I'm just hanging out with my friends. It's really chill. It's really calming for me. And I just really appreciate you guys so very much. I received such kind um, feedback and messages from people I'm close with and people I barely speak to, people I don't speak to at all. Either way, it's just so kind and I want to say thank you for that. So with that being said, I love you guys so much. And if you love and support me, please go ahead, share this video, like this video, comment, subscribe, whatever it might be. It is so greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much. Have a Merry Christmas and I will see you in my next video. Bye.